All right, so we're going to look at this guy, see what we can figure out here. So the midline of this, let's see, it goes from 3 to negative 5. So that's 8, so it's 4. So the midline of this is negative 1 again, just like the last one was. All right, and then this one I'm not, this one I'm going to be honest, I wasn't sure. So I go 3 plus negative 5 equals uh, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. I'm just finding the middle between the max and the min. I'm finding the average. All right, that's what I that's what I kind of am doing in my brain all right, to figure it out. The amplitude is 4 because, again, it gets 4 away from that. It goes 4 in each direction. All right. The period is 3 pi. All right, again, that's how long does it take for one cycle to happen or how far is it between two peaks. All right, I think it's one cycle is much easier because then I can just go uh, to the graph itself, maybe. Yeah, that's right, three pi. Sorry, it's it's kind of a kind of a goofy graph shift a little bit the numbers in there, but uh, that means three pi equals two pi over b, cross multiply. I get three pi b equals two pi divided by three pi. And I get two thirds. All right, so my b is two thirds. All right, so that means the equation is y equals four, whatever function it is, two thirds x minus one. All right, now let's go back here. It's not making that u shape with the axis. All right, it's making the um, it's making a that kind of an s shape. So that means it's a sine curve. All right, so four sine of two thirds x minus one.